Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to teach you how to reformat and reinstall Windows XP and reformat the hard drive. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the BIOS and make sure that the computer boots from the CD and then instead of going straight to our operating system. Now to do that, we're going to go to Start, turn off computer, and we're going to hit Restart. Okay. Now when we get to the screen, I'll show you, you're going to hit F2. So, watch. And it's going to say go F2. So it's going to say entering setup. Now this is nothing, like, this is normal. You didn't scrub your computer. Yes. <laughs> so, make sure you're in system. You're going to go down to boot sequence. You go down to there. Hit enter so that your thing, your uh, highlights, so highlights here. Now, get, now well, you have an order. Um, now, around number four, you should usually have onboard or USB CD-ROM drive. What you want to do is you want to go down to there. Now, and you want to want to say mine's down here at number four. You want to put you want to hit U to bring that up. And say you want to hit U four times. So or three times, sorry. So. It's on board or your CD ROM drive down here for me. I'm going to hit you one, two, three times. And now it's up here. So if you've done this correctly, you should have on board or your CD ROM drive at the top of your boot sequence. What this means is that it will boot from the CD before it boots your operating system. Okay, so now we're done. So we're going to hit enter. And now we're going to hit exit. And you're going to want to say save and exit. So now we have the CD to boot first before our operating system. I don't have a user account. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to put your operating system CD it looks something like that. And you're going to put that into your CD ROM tray. Okay. Now, this, it's going to load up. We don't care about what it loads up now. Well, we're going to, we'll have, we have another way of doing it. So it's going to load. It's going to come up. Welcome. You don't want to do this. You just exit out. Exit right out of here. You're going to go into start. Turn off computer. Restart. Okay, now it's going to restart and boot from the CD. Now, um, so it's going to come up with the bell thing again. Okay, we don't care about that. We didn't hit anything. It's going to say right up here, it's going to say boot from CD, hit an E key. So, press any key boot from CD, we hit any key, it's going to bring us to here. Okay, now down here, it's going to start loading all the files on the CD. So, But set up the loading files, exactly what I just said. Okay, now that it's loaded, it's going to say to set up Windows XP. Now, press enter, and it should be up here at the top. You don't want to up here, and you don't want to put setup. Well, unless you want to put setup. Here's the key. So, I'm going to hit Windows XP now, enter. License agreement, F8, to say I agree. Okay, now, this is your old version of Windows XP, and it's going to say, X3, quit, all repairs, don't repair. You don't want to repair it, because obviously, your Windows XP is working. So don't repair. This is your partition. Your partition is your hard drive. So, sometimes you have more than one partition. You delete them all, except the unpartitioned space, which is eight. So delete, so delete your partition, so you're going to hit D to delete, to give you a warning, um, I, I'm sure I want to delete this, okay, so enter, it's going to give you one more warning, you want to back out now, just make sure you have everything you need, um, save to a jump drive, an external hard drive, or backed up on your PC, so we're going to hit L to definitely delete it.
in the sky. Now, our, our, um, we should have one more left to unpartition space. And we should have whatever, is how much your computer can hold. Okay, so now we need to create a new partition by pressing uh, so, um, yeah, to create a partition, press C, sorry. Uh, just gonna, don't edit anything in here, just hit enter, and there you go. Found there. You have 8 megabytes, but unless you're crazy, that's done. So now we're gonna do set up Windows XP on the selected item, press enter. So make sure you have the new partition, and hit enter. Uh, format the partition using the NTFS file system quick. You're running off the same thing I am, and you know you got the same thing I am. Uh, then you're all set. Just hit quick. Click that. Okay. Now it's formatting, and it will load. So you just let it. Okay, it should be about done copying the files. Okay, we will set it up and make sure that it is not enough. Okay, I'm going to review. It says we can review in uh, 10 seconds. If you don't want to wait that long, press enter. I don't want to wait. Okay. Now, this time, it's still going to try to boot from the CD, but it will only boot if you put in the CD. So, you do not want to boot from the CD. Don't boot. <laughs> it's going to go home until one of those types of configuration. You're not done yet. It still has to do a couple more steps. That are relatively long in this one. So, okay. The resolution, you may notice, is terrible. I thought there was something wrong with my computer, but it's good about it. It's fine, it's only. And now it's just explaining to you that I'm starting on the Okay, now it's going to just stop and it's going to ask you to do fill out a little bit of stuff. This is not a survey, this is just to put in the details to your computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. organization. Okay, now, blue screen, <laughs> as we waited, now black screen, and we're starting up. Now, I don't boot from the CD, it's going to ask you again. Now, if that annoys you when you turn on your computer, when you have a CD in it, you can go back into the BIOS like I showed you, and just change that to back to number four. Which is how mine is. So that's the, one of the better ways. No, that's just one of the ways to fix the problem. So. Okay. To improve the appearance, yeah, it's just because the resolution went a little AWOL, and if that's good for you, then okay. Now it's loading. Please wait. And there you have it. Welcome to Microsoft Windows XP. Hit next. Help protect my computer. That's your decision. Next. Name. Thank you. Okay. Again, and there you have it. Welcome. That's pretty much all you gotta do is set the resolution and control panel, I mean, uh, properties and shit. Then from there on, you have just successfully reformatted and reinstalled Windows XP. Professional. Well, that's what I have. So.
Thanks for watching.